Hi, welcome to Muzak Edge. My name's Rebecca and today we're going to look at one of the reporting options available in Edge called a Progress A4 Booklet Report. This report is available by going to Curriculum, Caregiver Reports, Report Design. To create a new report, you need to click on the New button. When you get into the screen, you can give your report a name. This can be typed in here. This is the name that will appear on the report and is the report for the teachers to select when they're entering data. You can enter a target date by selecting a date from the calendar. This effectively works as a filter, excluding leavers who've left before this date and any students that start after this date. Next, you can select the year levels that you'd like this report to encompass. And here is where we selected the layout type. For this video, we were going to be looking at the Progress A4 booklet report. The purpose of this report is to show a student's progress, and it's designed to be a booklet of one folded A4 sheet of paper. These reports can only be configured by someone with Report Master responsibilities preset in Edge. You'll see by default booklet is ticked. The school name that will appear on the report will show here and by default a school's logo that's already set in Edge will show unless you decide to select another image which can then be browsed for and uploaded in here any specifications of the file image size and dimensions can be seen by clicking on the file image requirement. Report content can be set to include either absence details or alternatively attendance details. You then have two options to set to look at this term or the total year to date. You can select the date as at what you want the attendance to record it to. And you can also set a comment to show on the report to explain the report. You can configure the report in a number of ways. By default, it's got here to show a student's curriculum level. Or you can show OTJ progression. If you'd like to show OTJ progression, unselect curriculum level and tick OTJ progression. You have the option of two comments to appear in the curriculum area, which you can title yourself. You can include some key competencies indicators on your report. You can give the competencies a name. We've got some preset here and a description. Then the teachers can just tick the progression of these students against these key competencies. You also have the option of a further six custom comments, which you can set a heading in here and decide whether you want these to show before or after the key competency area on your report. Once you've decided what you want on a report, you can save it and this will then appear in the list of reports that you have available to select from. For samples of report set up and design and what you would see, you can go to Edge Help, which will take you through to Edge Answers. And if you were to search on report samples, you would get this page here. And if you scroll down the page, we have a sample there of a Progress A4 booklet for you.